Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Hope you're all doing really well today. This is going to be step four, or actually video four, of the uh, Holt 75 artillery tractor by Roden 135th scale. Okay, I've got uh, step 10, 11, and 12 finished. Here's where we're at on, on our progress right now. Okay, moving along. Okay, lots and lots of cleanup, lots of fitting getting things to line up like they're supposed to but um, it's going well I'm having a lot of fun doing it and uh, let's go ahead and uh, go down to the bench and uh, I'll show you what we did okay I'll be right back thanks guys here's where we left off last time this is um, step nine okay Got it all completed and I did add the rivets that were lost on the front. Okay, a few of those are still a little bit high. I'm going to have to sand them back just a little bit. Uh, and they are slightly larger than the original rivets, but uh, I think they look fine. Okay, I'll put up a picture of it at the end. Okay, let's move on to step 10. They've got this um, manual kind of cut up funny to where I don't have really, it's not really an easy way to show you the whole step all at once. Uh, I've got all the parts all uh, cleaned up here for the next, I've got uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 all ready to go. I'm not sure if we'll get that far today, depending on how time goes. Let's move along here a little bit. Okay, step 10. This is part 8F. Um, I had to add a plastic strip to both sides. It is supposed to go here from the bottom and when you put it in there it just fell through. So it was not uh, quite the right size and even now it's kind of hard to, to get it to line up there we go okay to work I put a strip on both sides to keep it centered okay so that's where that goes and I think if I'm understanding things correctly it goes all the way to the back okay and it fits really well once I put those strips on there Okay, so let's go ahead and glue that on. Put a little glue to the inside. This is actually still the uh, Cami airbrush cleaner. Works just fine and it's way, way cheaper than Tamiya glue. Okay. And Tam, whoops, I pushed it through. Way cheaper than Tamiya cement. It just fits. Nice and tight. I think the part, the original part was a little bit tapered. Because the, the plastic I added kind of... I had to add it was kind of wedge shaped. Okay, so that's got that in. Um, D24, I've got two of those. Okay, and they go on the sides here. This is so strange the way they've got this set up. These go right here. And they go through these, through these uh, little cutouts, and then another piece will go from the inside, and it doesn't fit very well. But let's go ahead and put these on. Just want to put that down just a tiny bit. Okay, just little adjustments here and there. Try and 
keep things square straight Touch more blue in there. Okay, we were expecting 10 inches of snow today, and it hasn't materialized so far. We'll, we'll see what happens. Sorry, trying to keep things on camera, but yet to where I can see them. Okay. <laughs> got our got the little uh, carpet monster in here. What are you doing, huh? Are you being good? All right, I'll get you a treat. He's not spoiled or anything. He loves these things. There you go. Whoop. Get it. Okay, he's good to go. Let's sit there and eat his treat. Okay, guys. Um, next thing I wanted to do on, on uh, the sides here. A D9. There's two of these little rings. The kit molded parts were basically about half uh, missing. They were mismolded or short shots. So I made two of them up out of lead wire. Okay. I'm not going to attach those quite yet because they're going to be pretty delicate. Uh, I'll do it just before I do some priming. But um, the the kit molded parts. We're, we're pretty much useless. So we'll go ahead and keep those for now. Then we have uh, 7C. This is actually supposed to be a bearing uh, a bearing box I guess you'd say. The way this thing works is uh, there's two axle shafts and they're split in the middle so that they can rotate opposite. and that way when they apply the brakes, just like on any tank or caterpillar, the one axle can stop and the other axle can turn or they can go opposites. But that's going to go in here. And it, whoop, it did not fit very good. I may actually have to do some shimming and things to get it to go. Let's see here. Yeah, I think it'll be all right. Get some glue on it. You really aren't going to be able to see much of it. Okay, just try and keep it centered until the glue takes off. I ordered some new tweezers. Yeah, I've been complaining about how poor my tweezers are. I ordered some of the good, uh, I hope they're good, Tamiya tweezers are expensive. But, um, should be here tomorrow. See how they work out. Okay. Now we have this, which we built back, uh, I think it was step five. That's going to go here. That's a nice tight fit. Okay. 
just like so. Make sure it's down all the way. It wants to jump up a little bit, so I'll, I'll have to hold it or clamp it. Let's get that in there. Um, Jason and Model Kit Stuff and Rob at Rims Models are going to be hosting a group build in starting, the, I think it's the 1st of March and uh, run to the end of April for commercial builds. So I ordered a kit for that. I'll show you what I'm going to build when it gets here. But if you're interested in participating in the, uh, in the group build, uh, I'll put a link to their channels below and uh, you know be nice to see you guys join in uh, I think the only stipulation is that it cannot be military um, it could be former military but it has to be a commercial vehicle of some kind like a truck a van um, I guess anything anything that's uh, you know like would have a have a name on the side, a business name on it. I'll leave a description. I'll I'll leave something in the description. Okay. There's that. Hold that down for just a second. Eh, it's holding. The front wheel, you know, is supposed to go in on this step, but I'm not going to put that on yet because I want to paint it separately. So that should complete step 10. Okay, I can put the wheel in there just so you can kind of see how it goes. Okay. That's what we're looking like. And of course this will set a little bit higher when it has the tracks on it. Alrighty. I'm going to take a quick break and let this stuff set up a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to uh, step 11. Okay. It's been an hour or so um, since I put these other parts on so that they've had a little chance to firm up. No sense in rushing things and having having things go out of alignment. Um, here's step 11. We've got the dry sprockets for the for the track and a few other things to put on. So let's go ahead and everything we need is in these cups here. Let's start with the dry sprockets. Okay, here we go. These will be 10. Uh, D10. Now these, these have got, they had a real bad ejector pin mark in three spots here. And I got those all cleaned off. And there was a lot of flash, seam large, seam, you know, uh, parting lines and that type of thing. So I got that all taken care of. The flange on this side is short and the flange on this side is long. The side with the longer flange goes to the inside. Okay. So we want to put them on just like so. Okay. And these I'll glue into place. Um, they're gonna, they, they've got kind of a sloppy fit. I want to make sure everything lines up good. Just side it, you know, looks nice and straight. The fit is not the best. And with the wide flange to the inside again. Okay. 
Okay. That one, that one has a lot of a lot of slack in it. Okay. And we're gonna do D17. I've got two of those. They'd be the outside supports. Okay. These are directional. They're, they're the same on both sides, but there's an inside and an outside. So you got to make sure you put it on the correct direction. Just like so. Let's get a little glue on the on here. Make sure they're straight. The fit on these parts is not terribly good, so take a couple seconds. Get those lined up correctly. And it looks a little high. There's no uh, locating pins or anything, so it's you just kind of gotta. Do it to where it looks right. Pull that up from. Look at it from all directions. Okay, that one looks good. I kind of move that one a little bit. Make sure they look right side to side. See that one's tipped down. Make sure everything's in alignment. All directions. Okay, that's how it looks. Okay, let's go ahead and move on here. Um, we've got these two little diamond treads. We got H6, which will go here. Okay, just like so. Make sure the I know you can't see. I want them to sit nice and straight. Okay, that's H six and seven. Same way here. OK, 
Okay, that's leaning down. Sorry guys. So I want to make sure they look straight across. And straight across this way. Best thing to do would be with a straight edge. There we go. I think those look pretty good. I'm going to shut the camera off for a second and let these have a chance to firm up because they're just barely held in place. And I'll be right back. Okay, it's been another 30 minutes or so. I just put a 1-2-3 block up against it uh, to keep everything nice and straight. I think it's fine. Okay, and it's firm enough now I can handle it without it moving around. Okay, so that's how that's supposed to look. Then we've got a few more pieces. Uh, let's see, H7 we put on. Don't need that. Okay. These I can't tell any difference. But it's uh, B5 and B6. We'll put them on where it says to put them on. Let's do B6 first. Okay. B6 will go on this lower slot here. Okay. I've test fitted all this prior, but it doesn't hurt to test fit again. Okay. And finish that off. And then B5 goes in the upper slot. I'm not sure if there's a right side up or a bottom side down. I really can't tell. Biggest thing is as to where they line up. Okay. And then I've got one more piece, which is uh, A9, and it'll go across the whole thing here. Okay. I want to look. Looks like everything lines up real well. Oop, that one's a little low. That's the hitch where they can use to pull an artillery tractor if they want to. Well, that's basically what they did with these. With just the artillery tractors. And I'm sure they pulled a few other items whenever they needed to. Okay, that's kind of what the back end is supposed to look like. Then I've got uh, a couple of supports. D12, I've got two of those. Get rid of that. And they'll go 
from this tab out to a little bracket right here. So I'm going to have to use the tweezers on those. Get a little glue on there and see if we can't keep them in place. Okay. A little too far. There's one. Okay, there's those two on, and we got one more part, B8, which is the worm gear for the front steering. So temporarily I'm going to set this back in place just to make sure it all lines up well. Let's see here. Okay, and it will go... I'm going to make sure I do it from the correct side. It'll come over from this side. and engage. There's no locating pins, no any way of telling you exactly where it goes. Okay, I'm going to have to put the glue The uh, worm gear is not molded very well. I did the best I could to clean it up, but it was pretty bad. It was almost to the point where I considered trying to replace it. Anyway, there we go. And then this will still come out, I believe, for painting. Yeah, with no problem. Okay. That completes... Uh, 11. Okay, I'm going to take a quick little break and I'll be right back and we'll get uh, step 12 done. Be right back. Thanks guys. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is build up uh, this box structure on the back, which is uh, step 12. It's made up of quite a few little pieces. We're going to have to be real careful and make sure we keep it all square. Um, we're going to be using this from step two. Okay, it's kind of the center of it. And we'll build up from there. Looking at the instructions and everything, I can't really tell just exactly how this fits. It'll go on the frame. We don't have to actually attach it for a while. 
but uh, there's no let's see if I can get it on on screen here okay. this goes here like so but it doesn't tell you anything about where it sits on there so I'm hoping that as we add more pieces to the front here uh, the location will become a little more obvious Let's go ahead and get it put together. Let's see. I'm going to set this down in a box just to keep it safe. That's the tracks. A couple of extra tracks. So let's set this in here. It's not going to quite fit. That'll do. Okay. There's the front wheel, and here's two extra track links if we if we need them later. We'll see. I'm hoping that it won't. We won't. Okay. This will be the center that we put together in step two. And we're going to be adding pieces to both sides of this to make up this structure. So here's all the parts we need. First thing I want to do is get a 15. Let's see here. Oops. C15. A15. Okay. I've test fitted all this. I hope it all fits like it's supposed to. This will go right here. Okay. Now actually, yeah, I believe that's correct. Let's go ahead and get some glue on it. There's three little rivets in there. It will go forward. Okay, and then we have C, um, C16, that will go here, let's see, that will go this way, it should all lock together, I might have to do a little bit of seam work once I get this all put together. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're done with that. The next one will be A14. That's right here. Once again, it'll go with little rivets to forward. Okay. And C15, maybe the other side, and it will go like so, whoop, nope, go like so, just a little glue on there.
Okay. Looks pretty good. Okay. Um, this is a seven. Go here. Now that doesn't. Okay, there's a problem. Unless it goes over it. No. I think those might be reversed. Either I reversed them or... Uh, I think. Let's pull these off. Or the glue sets too much. I think it goes here and that'll give us a lip for that to set in so I'm gonna have to clean that glue up a little bit on there okay, so it may have been my mistake it may have been the instructions I don't know for sure we want to have that where that sits inside okay We are going to have to do a little work to get the seams looking good, which I'll I'll do off camera. Play a little Mr. Surfacer and should do it. Okay. Yeah, there's some seams of stuff there I'm not real crazy about. better okay so there should be this lip all the way around so if, if you don't see that lip then it's backwards off camera I'll fix some of those joints because they are not too good I don't know if you can see them or not, but not real happy with those. Require a little filling and so forth. Okay, and as you can see, these are not the same length. And that's the way the instructions say to do it. And then we have C4, which will go in here see we've got a gap right there and that I'm not sure that fits flush there I'm not real happy with that gap I'll have to do some checking and see if uh, see if that gap was on the real one or not I have a feeling it was not. So it may require a 
little bit of styrene to fix it. Okay, and then we have E3. There's a couple of pins right here, and this goes for the pins, just like that. Okay, something I didn't mention uh, on these, there was ejector pin marks on the inside that cut like halfway through. It left little half mount, half moon circles, and uh, so I put some super glue on them. You can kind of see the super glue on the inside there, but I put some super glue on it and I filled it and sanded it back. But it was like. Uh, here and then here and here uh, like somebody took a bite out of them looked really bad so I filled those in and got those in good shape okay and then we have uh, just a little bit more to do here this is a little winch I believe that goes on the sides so we've got A12 and A13 these will go together just like so gives you it's just like a place where you'd be able to wrap a rope around it or something if you were going to uh, need to pull something or move something Maybe they use it for winching the guns into place once they disconnect them from the tractor. I'm not real sure. Just a guess. Okay. And they, there's actually a hole on both sides for it. So I'm not sure if this can be moved from one side to the other or just how. But they only provide one in the kit. Okay, that's going to complete step 12. Let me get my frame out here. And I'll put pictures at the end of what I've got done so far. Put this back just to illustrate a little bit. Okay, this will set here somewhere. I'm not sure just exactly where. I'll show it to you. Let's see if we can show that to you from the side a little bit. Um, bring this up. Switch that to full screen. Here we go. Okay. Let's pull that in just a little bit. Okay. So this here is supposed to sit on top of the rails, and there's no no locating pins, no anything to tell you where it goes right now. It may become may become obvious. A little bit later on but anyway um, I'm gonna go ahead and call this uh, I'm gonna really try hard to get videos out a little more regular uh, I want to get this done so I've got some time to do a couple other things before the uh, group build starts and be sure to look in the description and uh, I'll have uh, Rob's and uh, Jason's um, 
YouTube channel links in there so you can check it out and find out when that starts. But uh, it looks like it's going to be a real fun group build. Okay, so that's going to do it for this week. Made a little progress. I'll put some pictures here at the end. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Okay? Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.